Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today we are going to discuss about discount, how to calculate the discount and some of the terms that are directly related to the discount. So first term uh, that we use uh, is uh, called mark price. It is also called MP, mark price. So it is also called MP okay guys so for example we have a mark price of an item which is hundred dollars or rupees or whatever currency you want to make okay so uh, mark price is the actual price of the item uh, it's not the cost price is the is the price that you are seeing on uh, on the label of the item when you go to a shop or you go to a mall and you see there is a pr price and it says it is the uh, the price of the item is hundred dollars so that is called mark price or market price or list price is also called okay the next thing is discount that we discuss so discount is also uh, we uh, um, uh, write it as D so for example on hundred dollar there is a 30% discount okay guys so now that the price of the item is hundred dollars the mark price and there is a discount which is 30% okay so now what is the answer the answer obviously hundred minus 30 is 70 so after getting discount from uh, 100 the price of the item is 70 so this 70 dollars or 70 rupees or whatever currency it is called as selling price guys selling price or it is also called sp okay guys so till here your concepts are clear so this is selling price this is the discount and this is the mark price of the item guys so the other thing that i want to tell you is the mark price or MP is directly related to sale price. So sale price is directly related to mark price. It is always like this guys. So now we will move towards the formula for the discount. So first of all, mark price which is MP into 100 minus D which is discount and it is divided by 100 guys okay and this is equal to SP or selling price guys so all these terms I already explain you here on top okay guys so now let's uh, put the values in these and we will see our answer which will be the same that we already did it here so mark price as I told you is 100 okay guys so 100 we cut this 100 with this 100 and 100 and discount that we already mentioned here was 30 so 100 minus 30 equals to 70 so 70 is our selling price guys so this is how we put the formula and we put the values and we get our selling price after the discount the discount we already mentioned here is 30 percent okay guys so this is the formula that you use to find out the discount so this is the first thing and the second thing that I want to explain is um, uh, the, uh, the how to find out the mark price mark price and selling price ratio okay guys so the next thing that I want to show is about mark price and selling price ratio okay guys so for example if I uh, have a 20% discount okay this is the discount or we call it as as a D so 20% means it will be like 1 divided by 5 guys okay so when we um, uh, minus uh, minus this uh, 1 from 5 it will be 4.5 guys so this is the mark price guys okay this is mark price okay so after um, uh, deducting one from five it will be four so four and five so this is the selling price and this is the mark price guy so this is how we can uh, get the ratio of mark price and selling price guys you can also do it like this for example uh, uh, this is uh, as you know it is hundred okay so this is twenty so 20, 20 minus 100 will be 80 so if you guys can uh, do it like this 
okay if you uh, divide this with this you will get the same answer which is 4 divided by 5 so this is the selling price and this is the mark price so let's move to one more example to find out the mark price and selling price ratio uh, let's say i have a 40 percent discount so how i can do it guys just think about it okay so it will be always uh, like this it will be like uh, 2 divided by 5 so 5 minus 2 will be 3 so guys 5 is the markup uh, sorry mark price and 3 is the selling price guys okay you can also uh, do it like this for example if this is 40 percent discount and this is 100 okay so 100 minus 40 equals to 60 and when we you calculate it you will get the same answer okay guys so so you will get the same answer 3 divided by 5 okay so this is the uh, selling price and this is the mark price so guys this is how you guys can find out the mark price and selling price ratio guys and i want to tell you one more thing if there is a discount mark price will be always bigger than selling price guys if there is a discount so there is a condition if the, you have given a discount so mark price is always uh, bigger than selling price so guys many uh, students uh, were asking me about uh, this discount issue and they want to know about mark price selling price the discount formula and uh, the mp and sp ratio so uh, i hope i fully explain in this video guys so guys please uh, do subscribe to my channel and please like my video thank you very much guys